How you doing? Devin Pelton here with one of our important dealer partners, Alamo Music, here in San Antonio. What I'd like to do today is to show you how to put your new saxophone together. It's important that we get a good start and that we don't damage anything because this instrument your parents just invested in is fragile. There are things that can get bent, things that can happen to it that'll make it not work right. We want it to work perfectly because it's gonna be something that will last forever for you. So let's start with, you notice I've got my new saxophone on a table here. You can do it on your bed or, or on the floor, on the kitchen table, it doesn't matter where, but I want you to make sure you have a nice flat surface. As long as we have it the right side up, we know that we're going to be okay when we open it. We're going to open it carefully and oh, cool. All right, there it is. There's a lot of different pieces, parts in here, and we're going to make sure that we put it together the right way and we'll get to making some cool noise, okay? Some beautiful sounds, first notes. All right, go through your stuff and find something that looks like this. The Antigua comes, it's kind of in a bag and it's got both the mouthpiece and the reed in here, but Everyone does it different, but that's what we want to find. We want to find the mouthpiece and the reed. First thing I want you to do is I want you to take your alto saxophone reed out and put it in your mouth. This is made of cane, the weed, and it's very fragile because it's very thin. What the reed does is the reed is what vibrates, opens and closes real fast to make the vibration to make the saxophone work. So this is what we start with and put that in your mouth and suck on it because we want to get it nice and wet. Some people have a little glass of water they put it in. It doesn't matter. We just need that reed to get wet. And while we're doing that, we get our mouthpiece. Leave yours in your mouth, but I'm going to take mine out so you can understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, on the mouthpiece here we have the different parts. This thing is just for protecting it when we're not using it. It's called a mouthpiece cap, okay? We don't use that when we play the instrument. So let's take it off and let's put it in our case for right now, out of the way. That leaves us with the mouthpiece and this silver thing, which is called a ligature. The ligature is what holds the reed that's in your mouth onto the saxophone mouthpiece. It holds it tight so it opens and closes and makes the vibration. We know that all sounds are vibrations. We need the vibration to send it through the rest of the instrument. So let's start by getting this together properly so it'll work, all right? So loosen up the screws a little bit, slide that ligature off and kind of set it down on your table. Now take that, mouth, that reed out of your mouth and put it on the flat side of the mouthpiece, the flat side that's got a big hole in it, okay? And just set it on there. Now be careful that you don't cram it into anything or the table or anything, because that is that is real fragile. And once it's broke, it's trash. It's not worth anything. So put it carefully on that mouthpiece, kind of line it up so it's straight, okay? So it sits right on the, the, the bottom of that mouthpiece. Now we're gonna take that ligature and we're gonna slip it right over the top. We're going to pull it down so it kind of starts to wedge that reed on there. And now I want you to kind of look at the reed. Get real close and look at it. And at the very tip of the reed, I want you to leave enough of the black showing of the mouthpiece. Don't slide the reed all the way up, but just put it so where it's kind of like a pencil line. If you drew a line with a pencil, that's kind of what I want to see on the top of the reed. Okay, that's a good starting point. So I'm kind of pulling down on the, the ligature to kind of hold it there. And now to keep it holding there, I'm going to tighten up the screws. Okay, ligature screws are always going to tighten with your right hand. That's all there is to it. Now I've got my reed that we've been moisting, uh, that's moist, it's ready to go, and I've got it on my mouthpiece. And all I do is blow. That's it. Do that with me. Just put it in your mouth and blow. There's not a wrong way, right? Okay, that's, uh, we can, if your dad is a goose hunter, maybe that sounds kind of like a goose. But the mouthpiece is what's gonna send the vibration through the rest of the instrument. 
and the reed is what wiggles to make that happen, okay? So, I know that that's right. Now let's talk a little bit about what we do with our face, our mouth, call it our embouchure, to make it work right. If you were going to, uh, your gym bag or a, a bag that you've seen that's got kind of a, a pull string. You know, you pull it and then the, the, the lid closes. You pull on that string and it closes the lid. That's kind of the way I want you to think about your mouth, okay? It's not something we bite down on. It's not something that we put our teeth on. I want you to kind of think of closing all the way around it with kind of like that pull string, okay? Because that's what we're going to do to close our mouth around it. We kind of flatten our chin a little bit. And uh, another thing to think about is uh, if you're eating spaghetti and you've got that spaghetti hanging down and you want to get that last, you kind of suck that in. That's kind of the way our chin's going to be. So I'm thinking kind of closing around it this way and kind of firm on my chin. Now, this reed, we know it's got to wiggle up and down and vibrate. That's what makes the saxophone work. I'm going to let my lip on the bottom be a nice soft cushion to let it wiggle. I'm not going to put my lip on the top. I'm going to put my teeth on the top, lip on the bottom. All right. When we put our lip as a nice soft cushion and our teeth on the top and we blow, it makes that vibration. See how long you can make that last with me. Here we go. Make it last. Keep it going. Keep it going <laughs> until all your air is out. All right, good. That vibration, we're gonna change the length of it and it's gonna make our saxophone work. Pretty cool. All right, you can stop now. <laughs> okay, put your mouthpiece off to the side. There is a part in your case that is a kind of a bent pipe looking thing. That's called the neck of our saxophone, all right? This one's brand new, so it's got a bag on it. Throw that bag in the trash. We're never gonna use that again because as we play this, we're going to just let it be open. When we put it away, it's gonna be in its spot in the case that's made for it. But this is called the neck. First thing I want you to do with the neck part is dig through here and find something that looks like, in, in my case with the Antigua, it kind of looks like a chapstick, it's not. Don't put it on your lips. This is called cork grease. This is cork, this is cork grease. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the grease on the cork. The chapstick style works just like your chapstick. You turn it up a little bit, and I want you to just kind of put a glob on it and put the cork grease away. Now, take your hand and rub that cork grease into the cork. Massage it in there real good so it's good and slippery because that's what's gonna let the mouthpiece go on it. So, now we've got the neck, we've got it greased up, we've got our mouthpiece. We're going to put that mouthpiece on the neck. Just twist it on there, okay? The neck has got this loopy thing on the bottom and this long thing on the top, that's called a register key, okay? And that you can see that kind of moves, all right? Well, that's the top. The top of your mouthpiece wants to be in line with that register key, all right? So now let's try that vibration and put it through this much of the instrument. And let's see if it's, uh, the longer vibration is probably gonna be lower, right? Let's see if it works. Look at that, there we go, we've got it. On the neck, we've got a vibration. All we gotta do now is put the rest of it together. Set that aside. Let's get the rest of our saxophone out. All right, so this thing on that plugs in the top, this is called an end plug. We take that out. That's only for when it's in the case, all right? We take that out and that exposes the hole that we're gonna put that neck into, all right? Grab your neck. And now I want you to be careful on this part because we want to make sure that that neck goes in over top of this key, all right? Remember that thing I said was a register key that wiggled on the neck part? It's gonna go over this post because that post, when it moves, is gonna move the register key. All these things, all these hundreds of pieces go together to make the pipe longer or shorter, and that's how we change the note. So now I've got that on there. Cool. Not yet. Don't do anything yet. Set it down. Now, 
find in your stuff. There, there's gonna be a little bag and this is called a neck strap. They look different. Everybody's got different styles, but basically what it is, is it's what is going to hold the weight of the saxophone. All right? And you wear it like a necklace. You figure out that the loop on this end, that's gonna hook onto the saxophone. So that means that I'm gonna put this thing around my head. Okay? There. Now I've got a necklace with a loop on it. All right? The neck strap is gonna hold the weight of the instrument. The instrument, if you look on the back side, has got a loop here. That is called the neck strap loop or ring, okay? I'm gonna take my neck strap. You know, you see how I'm staying close to my table because I don't wanna drop this thing on the floor. If you're on your bed, kind of come to it, right? And get that thing snapped on there. There, now I'm attached to it. Now I can kind of trust it that I can bring it off the table. Okay, and I kind of make room for it. There, now, when this comes to your mouth, because remember how we made that sound? When this comes to your mouth, it needs to be the right, the right distance, right? So right now you can tell that mine didn't work. Yours might be poking you in the eye or down under your chin or whatever. You're gonna adjust your neck strap by sliding it around. So when it pivots up here, it goes right in your mouth, okay? A little hint. We're not gonna worry about all the notes and all the hand position and all that stuff because your band director, he or she's gonna teach you that when you go to class, okay? But for right now, let's just remember that our left hand goes on top and our right hand goes on the bottom someplace. And I don't care how you hold it, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about that. Let's just make a noise, a, 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 a beautiful sound that our family can hear. So I'm gonna think about that spaghetti, I'm gonna think about that bag, pull this down, kind of close around it, get it right. Cool! There was our first note. That was a that was a saxophone note that sounded like a saxophone that was awesome. Let's see how long we can make that last, okay? Think about all that stuff. Doesn't matter what you do, just make a nice long note. And then if you wiggle stuff around, these keys, then you can add fingers and take fingers away. What would impress your band director the most is that you know how to put the reed on the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece on the neck, the neck into the instrument, and that you can play a long, don't worry about your hands, something like that that you can make last for a long time, that would be an awesome start. Now, just as important as when we put it together is when we put it away. So let's, again, let's kind of put it over on the table. You see how careful I'm being? Now let's take that strap off. So now I'm away from the instrument and the table is gonna hold it. Sweet. Now we're gonna kind of go backwards from how we put it together. We're going to loosen the neck screw all right, that makes my lets my neck neck be loose. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna set it down because I don't want to drop it. And plug goes in there. There it is. It's in there. I don't have to tighten this. Don't worry about it. It's it's gonna stay there. Make sure that you take the time to put the instrument in in the proper way. Make sure it's sitting in there right. The only thing I'm gonna keep in this case is the instrument and the accessories, all right? The instrument includes the neck and stuff. Don't ever put your book in here. Now, you might be able to make it fit, cram it in there, and then slam the case down and it will fit, but you know what? The case is designed with this soft stuff to allow these keys and rods to push into the case so they don't get bent. Awesome, that was a great start to you guys playing sax for a long, long time. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, you guys, that was a great first little uh, beautiful first sound. I'm glad you took the time to 
put the instrument together right, we opened the case right, we did everything properly, this instrument's gonna last for a long time. If we take the time to be careful and care for it, it's gonna last for your whole life. Thanks a lot and practice hard. We'll see you.